Welcome CHS to the first news broadcast from home. Before we get into the news, we just want to remind everyone to stay clean, stay six feet apart, and wear a mask whenever you go out to any store. Hi, I'm Mallory, a freshman at CHS. Recently, I had the pleasure of interviewing our superintendent, Mr. Strickler, over Zoom. We discussed the effect of COVID-19 at school. The final day of school will go on as scheduled on June 2nd, even with school closures and online classes. As far as the end of the year for seniors, prom, graduation, and May Day are postponed, not canceled, though nobody knows when they will happen or what they will look like. The school is also lighting the Christmas tree in honor of seniors and asks you to light lights and support also. As far as grading for online school, classes are being graded pass-fail. Pass-fail grading will not affect your GPA as long as you complete your assignments and pass, it will improve, but as if you don't pass, your GPA will drop. Administration and teachers are working hard to make online school go smoothly. Mr. Strickler is still going into his office to make everything seem as normal as possible. If students need food, the school is providing meals through Grab and Go. Anyone under the age of 18 can access this service at Park Elementary 9.45 to 11 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Meals for two days will be provided. If a student needs counselor services, they can still contact them through email. Some experts suggest that the pandemic might strike again next school year. When I asked Mr. Strickler about what Columbia might do in this situation, he said that while there is no solid plan on what to do if this happens, administration is working hard to create one. He said that it's important to continue school in a time of uncertainty because everyone should try and keep a somewhat normal lifestyle to stay sane. The final piece of encouragement given was to stay safe, stay home, and remember that we are all in this together. Attention all Columbia seniors, we are requesting that you guys send in clips of you guys talking about your senior year, things that you guys enjoyed, things that you guys will miss about Columbia. Uh, you could send in your video clips to this email, mschoenfeld at columbiabsd.org. Thank you guys for responding if you guys do and send in your clips and they will be featured on the next announcement. Hello CHS, my name is Corral Aziz. I'm your 10th grader weekly news reporter. Okay, so today is Tuesday, May 5th. Today, the weather will be partly cloudy skies during the morning hours will become overcast in the afternoon. Its highest will be 59 degrees Fahrenheit. On Wednesday, May 6th, it will be rain showers in the morning will evolve into a more steady rain in the afternoon. Its highest will be 51 degrees Fahrenheit. On Thursday, it will be sunshine and clouds mixed. Its highest will be 61 degrees Fahrenheit. On Friday, it will be partly to mostly cloudy. Slight chances of rain shower. Its highest will be 56 degrees Fahrenheit. On Saturday, wind is going to be increasing. A few clouds from time to time. Highest will be 49 degrees Fahrenheit. On Sunday, it's going to be sunny along with a few clouds. Highest is going to be 59 degrees Fahrenheit with winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hope you guys like the chilly weather week. Make sure to stay safe, wash your hands, and make sure you don't touch your face. Take care, everybody, and I hope you have a great week. something a Columbia teacher would do. Thank you for all you do. A great teacher is someone who is nice. All teachers are nice.
Clark School of Teachers. Thank you to all of the Park School teachers. You are all wonderful. Thank you to all the teachers. Have a great quarantine and stay safe. Thank you teachers for helping me grow. I have great teachers. Thank you, Miss Nisa and Miss Hogan. Thank you to all the teachers. Have a great quarantine and stay safe. Thank you for all that you do and for helping to make us who we are. Hey, this is Connor Cross, and thank you, Mr. Dashman, for being a good teacher, and I miss you a lot. Thanks, my great teachers, for all you're doing. Teachers are amazing, and they help us grow.